UFC as a fan, yeah. and you see Anderson Silva as the champion, and then. Oh yeah, I was uh, when I when I was uh, I didn't know it was I didn't know the facts on it, but he was definitely champion when I was getting into the sport. And uh, it's crazy because when I got this boy, I was looking up to him too. I'm watching this guy. I'm like, yeah, this guy is good. But as soon as I hit my first pit and I, and I got my first sparring session in, I believed I could beat him. And it took about three years, I think, until I finally got in the octagon with him. And then that's when I beat him, and I beat him again. But I, I just. It's crazy when you say something, you know, you have a goal, and my goal and my dream was to be UFC champion and to beat Anderson Silva. That, you know, every fight leading up to beating Anderson Silva, uh, when, when I was fighting on the card of the UFC or even prior to that, the local shows, I wasn't just training to, to beat those guys that I was going against. Uh, at that time, I was, I was training to beat Anderson Silva because he was the best in the weight and, you know, greatest of all time, half a pound, number one, and all that stuff. And uh, to actually finally get to the point of fighting him and beating him was just a, a huge accomplishment for me, especially when you're telling the whole world that you're going to do it and they're all looking at you like you're an idiot. Um, and then when you finally do it, it's definitely a great feeling.